The Sanson Sonata for Violin and Piano, number 1, Opus 75, has achieved considerable interest in the last few years. That wasn't always the case. For a long time, only one commercial recording was available, at least to my knowledge. Many years ago, I heard that very recording on an old LP disc which featured Gosha Heifetz. I was struck by the velocity and tonal intensity of his performance, 
which supported the wonderful romantic scenes created by Sansons. For some reason, the sonata seemed to have been almost forgotten in the years following Mr. Hypus's recording, but it left a vivid impression that I have retained to this day. As time passed, I was given the privilege to record this sonata, joined by my colleague and exceptional pianist, Jane Abbott Kirk. The real question then presented itself. How should we make this music come alive? Of course, to imitate Mr. Heifetz's unique style would have been artificial, <laughs> if not impossible. We had to find our own way, reflecting our own experience and musical personality. Eventually, we evolved a concept that varied from soaring lyric sonority to facile aggression. A hint of steel while enclosed in velvet. The sonata ultimately concludes in a whirlwind of sound. To facilitate all this, we chose the Steinway Concert Grand Piano and Roxy Grove Hall at Baylor University, while a 1729 Carlo Berganzi violin and a 1780 Francois Tuart bow was used. This differed from other pieces recorded on this CD set, as this combination was key to our achieving the warmth and brilliance needed for this sonata. I hope you enjoyed our performance.